what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be talking about the potential chance of us getting the halloween kills trailer this upcoming week and i haven't done a halloween kills or any type of halloween related content video in quite some time um but something caught my attention earlier today with some news about a watch party going on this weekend for the 2018 film jamie lee curtis i believe is hosting the watch party and then joining her is going to be the, the, the director of course uh david gordon green uh then you have jason blum i believe judy greer is going to be there john carpenter uh they're all going to be there and hopefully some other people as well during this watch party that they're having for the 2018 film over the weekend on may 16th um a lot of people are speculating that this could be when they're going to debut the trailer i know ryan Turek recently uh over the past couple of weeks has been responding to a lot of fans on twitter stating that they aren't using the same they aren't going the same route that they took with um the 2018 film as far as marketing is concerned because i believe we didn't get the halloween kills trailer until not the halloween kills but the halloween 2018 trailer i don't think we got that trailer until june sometime like a couple of four months or so before the movie came out uh i could see them taking that route again with this one uh maybe we'll just get it a month sooner though i think i, I there's a good chance it's coming out on saturday um i've actually had some discussions and spoken to some people or to a person rather actually i'll say i've spoken to a person who had who had worked on halloween kills uh he he doesn't really have anything too much to say other than the fact that it's a 50 50 chance he's trying to reach out to everyone involved in the project to see what the deal is going on but at that point I've, i if he does find out that a trailer's coming out uh i don't if he's able to share it if he shares it with me that's 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 fine and dandy but i don't i don't think even if the trailer was coming out they would they would tell him because if he doesn't know right now i don't think they would tell him um but i i honestly think we will there's a good chance we are going to see a trailer on saturday during this watch party not even during but after the watch party um uh, I feel like that's a perfect time to debut a trailer uh the only thing that makes me doubtful is that it is on a saturday it's going to be on a saturday night uh depending on what what i think what i could see is maybe we don't get the trailer but we get an announcement that the trailer's coming next week sometime or in a few coming days and then we just kind of built they just use this watch party to build hype build hype towards the trailer's release uh, I think that's more likely than them just dropping the trailer immediately after a watch party on a Saturday night uh, into onto onto the internet. Uh, although I think that would I I think that would break the internet. I think it, I think it would be the number one trend. I think that would be a just an unexpected thing for them to release after this watch party with all the cast members being there and everything. Um, I I know a lot of people are also looking forward to Halloween Kills. I myself am looking forward to seeing if the movie still is going to maintain its October release date due to everything going on in the country and around the world. Um, I'm willing to bet that it's going to stay there. I don't think it's going to get moved. I want to if I'm a get be betting man and if I want to just stay positive for a second, um, I'm willing to bet that this this whole thing with what's going on and affecting our country not that it's going to die down actually around that time that's when they're expecting things to pick back up the way they were when they first started but i expect that just by then everything will be back to somewhat not not normal but the restrictions and everything will be in place for theaters to be functioning uh the capacity for theaters might be limited but honestly at the end of the day i think a lot of a lot of movies are just gonna just be released because I know um, a lot of us are just ready to go back to the theater. We're ready to see these see these movies that have been delayed because of what's going on in our country. Um, and I know Halloween Kills is like the, the number one movie people are looking forward to this fall for us horror fans and us horror geeks. We're all looking forward to Halloween Kills. Uh, this is our Avengers Endgame of the year when it comes to horror. Uh, last year was It Chapter 2. The year before that, it was the Halloween 2018 film. So hopefully nothing cha nothing happens there that leads to the film actually being pushed back if it does of course i expect it to be getting pushed to october of next year and then halloween ends being pushed to october 2022 at that point 
uh, but I know that's going to be very disappointing for a lot of us and just upsetting because we want to see this movie in theaters. Now, what do I think is going to happen in Halloween Kills? I think with Halloween Kills, we're going to see a variety of different things. I, get, I think we're going to see uh, I think we're going to see Jamie Lee Curtis's character come back in a very strong way and i think that we're going to see judy greer's character stand out in a new way i think andy matichak is going to be taking over as the new lori in this in the series um what i want to also say is that i i can see um andy matichak's character because i believe she plays lori Stroh's granddaughter i could see her, the granddaughter becoming like the new lori and i don't think J i don't think laurie strode uh jamie lee curtis is gonna die once again but i could just see them using halloween kills and halloween ends to mold the characters of uh i can't think of the character's name andy matichak's character uh laurie's granddaughter and then laurie's god laurie's daughter who i know her name is karen uh and I think I think the granddaughter's name is Allison. I, I think Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends are going to mold the characters of Karen and Allison for them to kind of just be like the next the next gen, the next uh, two Strode warriors right here alongside um, Laurie Strode. While Laurie Strode's character, maybe she sits out after some um, severe injuries that she sustains and maybe in the end, it'll come down to one final standoff and one final showdown with the character of michael myers and laurie strode and we can see those two go out in the blaze of glory um honestly how i would have this have this in because i know that there are they're planning to shoot halloween ends hopefully no later than the beginning of next year early early next year sometime uh for so that it can make its release date if it's not moved but i would like to see this this movie in with both laurie and michael myers dying just because of the simple fact that i know that with halloween ends they're wanting this to be the final chapter in this new iteration of the series but then of course they've already spoken about down the line that they know somebody is just going to revisit this at some point because the halloween series is a well-recognized brand michael myers is just a character who is going to be embedded in the pop culture until the end of time um how many times do I think this movie can be remade before it becomes annoying? I honestly don't think Halloween has that much of that. The series itself, the thing about characters like these, like Michael Myers, uh, Dave McRae said it best. Characters such as this, they have a shelf life. And when you're trying to prolong and just keep everything going and going and going and going and going, the novelty is going to wear off. Similar to how, let's say, the Scream series was just something that went on and on and on and when i say going on and on without these breaks that we've had in between because now we're at a point where we've had two 10-year gaps almost in between the last two sequels um so while it's not as not as uh repetitive and can repetitive as the halloween films because the halloween films when they were like really at their prime they were releasing those movies like every other year or so uh, and then they took a mild break after the resurrection film came back in 2007 and then after that uh another one in 2009 and then they took another break and they came back and now we're here doing it again after such a long time we have three new movies that we're going to be getting the 2018 film halloween kills this year and then halloween ends next year um there's only so much you can do with that because when you're constantly making sequel after sequel after after sequel you have to understand at some point that you're not you're not going to be getting the same response from your audience because it's what's going to happen is your audience is going to sit down and think hey why can't you come up with something that's going to be new and inventive doing sequel after sequel after sequel that's fun to the people who don't care about quality over quantity but for someone like me and i know several other viewers of this series of this series who want to maintain the integrity of the character of michael myers and the and the prestige and just the overall original intent and vision for what john carpenter had in mind for the character back when that original film came out in 1978 running this series into the ground with all these sequels is not something that i can, i believe is going to be something that's just going to always be accepted i could see nothing being done with the property for another 20 years after this um and then when we hear an announcement that a new halloween film is going to going to be coming out i feel like at that point hopefully we've developed uh new new horror icons we've just moved beyond michael myers the jasons the freddies um and we're at a point now where that's not going to be acceptable maybe we'll get to the point where when if that were to become the case and they decide they want to remake and redo another michael myers movie down the road 
is not going to be received well from the general public because at that point everybody's going to have moved on to these new horror icons now no new icons really have been made all of this stuff is just being prolonged and they're just they're they're going back to the to the same old tricks and i can understand it to some to some degree um but yeah i hope i hope with halloween kills and halloween ends that they go in and they just do the character justice and put this to bed and i don't want any other person to come back and touch this property i don't want any more halloween films after this because i want this series to remain it's not even it, I, some would argue that it's even gone beyond the point of being repaired but let this iteration because halloween halloween 2018 was a very well-made movie let halloween 